Welcome to video 4 for this unit on linear relationships. In this video, we're going to focus on linear equations. Let's think back to Elena's bus fare card. Since she won a contest where the prize was a special pass that gives her free bus rides for a year, she did not need to use her regular fare card, which had $5 on it when she won the prize. Here is the graph of the amount of money on her fare card. Horizontal lines in the coordinate plane represent situations where the y value doesn't change at all while the x value changes. We can describe this horizontal line as for all points on the line, the y value is always 5. An equation that says the same thing is y equals 5. Every point on this line makes the equation y equals 5 true. Vertical lines, on the other hand, represent situations where the x value doesn't change at all while the y value changes. The equation x equals negative 4 describes a vertical line through the point negative 4, comma 0. Every point on this line makes the equation x equals negative 4 true. We can describe this vertical line as, for all points on the line, the x value is always negative 4. Think of all the rectangles whose perimeters are 8 units. If x represents the width and y represents the length, then 2x plus 2y equals 8 expresses the relationship between the width and length for all such rectangles. For example, the width and length could be 1 and 3 since 2 times 1 plus 2 times 3 equals 8 or the width and length could be 2.75 and 1.25, since 2 times 2.75 plus 2 times 1.25 equals 8. We could find many other possible pairs of width and length, x, comma, y, that make the equation true. That is, pairs x, comma, y that when substituted into the equation make the left side and the right side equal. A solution to an equation with two variables is any pair of values of the variables that make the equation true. We can think of the pairs of numbers that are solutions of an equation as points on the coordinate plane. The set of solutions to 2x plus 2y equals 8 create a line. Every point on the line with positive x and y values represents a rectangle whose perimeter is 8 units. All points not on the line are not solutions to 2x plus 2y equals 8. Let's think about the linear equation 2x minus 4y equals 12. If we know 0 comma negative 3 is a solution to the equation, then we also know 0 comma negative 3 is a point on the graph of the equation. Since this point is on the y-axis, we also know that it is the vertical intercept of the graph. But what about the coordinate of the horizontal intercept when y equals 0? Well, we can use the equation to figure it out. Since x equals 6 when y equals 0, we know the point 6, 0 is on the graph of the line. Every point on this line is a solution to the equation 
2x minus 4y equals 12. No matter the form a linear equation comes in, we can always find solutions to the equation by starting with one value and then solving for the other value. Thank you for watching video 4 of 4 for this unit on linear relationships.